Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be an All Signs Tarot reading. We're going to be doing the next three months for All Signs. We're doing Aries to Pisces. So we will be doing December 23, January 24, February 24. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe, return to sender, any and all negativity. No open that's one against me shall prosper. Please give me clear on this message for all signs. What's going on for all signs for the next three months? You guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. All the information you'll need is in the description box. Please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. All right. Okay, we're doing Aries to Pisces next three months and this is whatever comes out whether it's love general messages family whatever okay starting with aries so for december y'all got some love coming in knight of cups y'all are going to be going on some type of romantic flirtatious you know type of trip this person could be a little fickle you could be a little fickle but there is a love gesture here, okay? Something's gonna really make your heart flutter or somebody is giving, you're getting good news, somebody's expressing their love to you or something good's happening to where it makes you feel really good. That was December 23, January 24. You and your friends are getting out. You're reconciling with somebody with the Three of Cups. You're celebrating, you're emotionally happy. Good news. So what I'm seeing is at the end of December, there's something that's coming in and it's going to follow through for January as well. Um, could be a pregnancy, graduation, something to celebrate about, uh, something about the family as well. Good news about the family. Let's see what's going on in February. The two of wands. This is going to help you move forward. This is going to help you plan. This is going to help you take the next step, okay? Whether it's in your partnership, your career, your job, your family, your relationship, continue to move forward, okay? And then we have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. That's what's driving it. This clarity, this communication, you could be having in this new ideas, new idea, you're overcoming obstacles, having faith, remain objective, okay? So a lot of water, fire, and air. That was for you, Aries. Let's get a quick love message. No, no, no. We don't got time for that. We don't got time for that. Okay. Taurus. All right. Thank you for liking the video. Let's see the next three months. December 23. We have the Knight of Wands. Taurus, you guys are following your passion. There's some type of confidence that you're feeling you could be restless there's some type of events stay focused because you could be doing a lot of things during this time a lot of in and out energy back and forth energy a fire sign could be coming in towards you so january 24 we do have the six of pentacles you're sharing with someone there's good things you can do to give back to your community give back to this world unexpected inflow of abundance is coming towards you as well you could be sharing your wealth with others so there's something coming in with this knight of wands in december that's going to give you more money all right february 24 you're going to be able to move gain distance fix the source this is um the end of challenging times for you taurus so there's going to be an influx of money coming in there's going to be you're moving to a peaceful place you're traveling or relocating okay and this is also the end of depression the end of an illness okay and then we do have the knight of swords coming in as well so good news two knights coming in so ideas planning traveling uh news okay fire air earth i like it Thank you for liking the video. All right, that was for Taurus. Moving on to Gemini. All right, the next three months for you, Gemini. December 23, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is wonderful. So there's a fresh start coming in. There's the end of delays for you, Gemini. Sudden or unexpected progress. This is a very positive change in your life. There's travel or a new vehicle coming in in December 23. January 24 brings in money. A big purchase, family growth, financial security for yourself and your family. There's some type of inheritance, retirement. There's going to be a peace when it comes to um, monetary things, passing on of knowledge, honoring your family traditions, things like that. February 24, Ace of Wands. 
There's a new spark, a new passionate beginning, an amazing opportunity. So be bold and courageous. So what's going on in December? There's something unexpected, a fresh start that's going to bring money, stability, security um, for yourself and your family that helps you with this new opportunity, this new idea, time to take action. Do what you're passionate about, Gemini. So fixed energy, earth and fire. And it's all because of these choices, these opportunities here with the Seven of Cups. Okay. All right. That was for you and I. Moving on to Cancer. Thank you for liking the video. Next three months for Cancer. December 23. Ego represents the devil card. So there's illusions of you being trapped. You got to accept your responsibilities. Get out of those situations. Make good choices. Uh, addictions or unhealthy habits going on for you in December. Okay. How are you going to release yourself from that? Get get free from that. January 24, we do have renewal. Finally, an ending of this. Okay, renewal represents reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. It's time to head in a new direction, Cancer. January 24, so New Year's resolutions for you. There's clarity on your life purpose in your heart. You know what you need to do, Cancer. So February 24 is going to help you heal with the star. A lot of major arcana coming in for you, Cancer. Have faith that the future is bright. Your dreams are coming true. There's positive change that brings the end of challenging times. There's a light at the end of this tunnel. Whatever this is, this ego, the devil card, the toxicity, turmoil, whatever it is, end it, learn from it, heal from it, okay? So Capricorn, Scorpio, and Aquarius. And it could be all due to these challenges, the Seven of Wands. Stand up for yourself, challenge those in power, but choose your battles wisely, Cancer. Thank you for liking the video. Moving on to Leo. Next three months for Leo. Thank you for liking the video. All right, Leo, December 23, the Queen of Wands, you're getting your mojo back, okay? You have this brilliant ideal. You're very talented, independent. Could be a little controlling, Leo, but there's nothing you can't do. So believe in yourself, Leo. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. There's a need for balance between career and personal life. So y'all might be wanting to do things on the personal side, but y'all need to stay responsible in your career life. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, January 24, we do have the page, no, this is the ace, this is the ace of pentacles, y'all. There's a windfall of abundance coming in for you, Leo. Let me get some water. Get some water. Yes, my room is junky. Woo! Y'all didn't see that. Y'all didn't see me almost fall out this chair. Ugh. Okay. windfall of abundance leo wise counsel good fortune there's an unexpected career opportunity so please stay responsible please stay driven please balance your work life regular life uh romantic life because there's something new wonderful lucrative coming in for you significant purchase of a home or vehicle leo february 24 the dreamer Okay, represents the full card. There's a new start, so trust yourself. Push your fears aside, Leo, and take a leap of faith. So the Queen of Wands is you're feeling, you kind of starting to smell yourself. You're kind of feeling like, you know what, I can do better. Or I can do this. This is what I want to do. I'm going to do it my own way. But you need to remain responsible, obedient, diligent, persistent, because there's a windfall of abundance or something new coming in for you in January for you to be able to take that leap of faith. We do have the Page of Swords. The, be logical, perceptive, insightful. Okay, there's an exciting intellectual challenge. You could be getting insight, clarity, or information that might... This information might challenge you to really stay on the grind, Leo. Okay, so I see Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, fire, earth, and air. All right, Leo, thank you for liking the video. Virgo. All right, thank you for liking the video, Virgo. This is going to be your next three months 
uh, December 23. We have the Four of Wands. Y'all are getting in a relationship. Y'all are celebrating. So much to celebrate, actually. So somebody could be graduating, getting into a new home, celebrating, send gratitude to the divine and your angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Okay, there's peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. January 24, the chariot. Y'all are moving forward in your life, traveling, rewards that come from hard work. Very successful, balancing many priorities at once. You're determined with willpower. Public recognition for you as well, Virgo. February 24, the Knight of Swords. A lot more traveling. Be decisive. Continue to be focused and driven. Don't be too defensive. There are some events that might require, you know, more speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional responses. Sudden or unexpected changes. Review your options carefully. We do have the Page of Wands, so good news coming. Be enthusiastic, optimistic, creative. And some, some of y'all might be a little damn too impatient. We have too many movement cards, okay? Be able to relish in this joy, this um, peace. This contentment, this gratitude, this romantic relationship, whatever it is you're celebrating. But a lot of y'all are moving very fast. I feel like this is telling y'all to slow down, okay? But things are happening very quickly for you. Cancer, air, and fire. Thank you for liking the video. All right, let's go, Libra. Libra, this is your next three months. Thank you for liking the video. December 23. Ego, cancer got the same card in the exact same space. Some of y'all are going through challenging times. Toxicity represents the devil card, addictions, unhealthy habits, illusions. Some of y'all need to take responsibility. Some of y'all are in the toxic environment. Uh, January 24, high priestess, you know this. Your intuition is telling you something. Meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire, Libra. What do you really desire? Because this ain't it with the devil card. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom that you receive. February 24, Eight of Swords. For some reason, y'all feel stuck. Y'all really feel stuck. And it could be stuck in a relationship, Ten of Cups, stuck in a marriage, stuck with family, co-workers, friends, whatever it is. I'm feeling like some of y'all are getting cold feet because y'all are moving to the next level within your life. The next level within your relationship, you only get older. You don't get younger. So really time to um, step up to the plate, Libra. Capricorn, Pisces, air, and water. Thank you for liking the video. I just heard that song by Peter Pan. I don't ever, he said something about, I don't ever want to grow up or something like that. Okay, that's you or the person you're dealing with. Thanks for liking the video. Let's go, Scorpio. December 23, we have the Nine of Wands. Some of y'all are defensive, but some of y'all are also pushing towards finally a new breakthrough. January 24, love, Queen of Cups, loving yourself, emotional contentment, compassionate, psychic abilities, um, insight. You're very caring for yourself, caring for others. Some of y'all are forgetting to really nurture yourselves, though. Y'all could be always fighting, advocating for other people. February 24, somebody's going to be fighting, advocating for you, Page of Cups. That love that and nurturing and everything that you put out, you're going to receive. So make sure you're putting out good things because I'm getting that message of whatever it is you're putting out, you're receiving, Scorpio. You could be sensitive, open-hearted. Um, inexperienced, a little moody. You're getting messages regarding relationships. There's a new emotional experience for you as well. Could be with the fire sign with this king of wands. Okay, you're very motivated and inspiring. You're a leader. Communicate your vision. So fire and water. So Scorpio. And then we see the king of cups right here. Scorpio, what I'm seeing is your main message is Whatever it is you are putting out, you will be receiving back, okay? Don't forget to love on yourself, nurture yourself. Um, thanks for liking the video. Let's go, Sagittarius. December 23, we do have the Five of Pentacles. Some of y'all are feeling unloved. There's a breakup. You have negative thoughts about manifesting. You have neg The negative thoughts that you have might be manifesting, so stop thinking negative, okay? Poor timing. Some of y'all could be becoming self-employed. You might be uh, having some fear surrounding stability and money. 
January 24. That's all going to change with the Wheel of Fortune. Fresh new starts, the end of delays, sudden and unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life. Okay, could be traveling, getting a new vehicle, February 24th, the Ten of Wands. But we have responsibilities. You're working too hard, uh, Sagittarius. Working too many hours. You need time for balance. Work-life balance. Let others help you. Okay, some of y'all are stressed out because of money, finances, Ten of Pentacles. It's like Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Your money goes up and down and up and down. Or maybe your job always has you doing stuff strenuous stressful things and some of y'all might be seasonal workers to where you work like for a couple of months then you're off a couple of months i don't know but whatever this is there's a need for work-life balance whatever these delays are they are going to end but you still are working too much or there's too much stress or something on you what is that all right, the Nine of Cups. Some of y'all have a lot of things y'all want to do, but y'all are putting too much on y'all plate, Sagittarius. Okay. Don't get burned out. Thanks for liking the video. Sagittarius, don't ask for help either. Some of y'all might need to ask for help. Thanks for liking the video. Moving on to Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, this is your next three months. Thanks for liking the video. December 23, Knight of Cups. Uh, Aries got this card. There's a new opportunity in love. January 24, Three of Wands. You could be, there could be distance between you and the things that you want, the person you want, but you're planning for the long term. There's abundance coming in from the past choices you made. All right, be patient. Be patient. February 24, Six of Wands. You will be receiving the fruit of your labors success and victory wise choices that bring public recognition okay there could be promotions awards or scholarships for you so there is something you might need to release something that's ending something that's transforming that brings in this gratification it's not going to be overnight it's going to take a while but it's going to be worth it fire water and scorpio thanks for liking the video capricorn moving on to aquarius all right, Aquarius, this is your next three months. Thanks for liking the video. December 23, we do have the Two of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries. So Aquarius, you guys could be taking the next steps in some type of decision in your life. Continue to move forward, okay? Expanding your plan. So don't, don't feel stuck. Continue to move forward. All right. That was December 23. Let's do January 24. Victory and success for you with the Six of Wands, um, Aquarius. There's victory. You made wise choices. Here are these choices that you made back in December. Be helping you move forward into victory, promotions, awards, success, recognition. All right. All right. February 24. The High Priestess. Really growing your um, psychic abilities. Some of y'all are receiving more money. Some of y'all are developing your intuitive gifts. So trust the wisdom that you receive. Meditate and turn inward, Aquarius. Fire, Pisces, and Earth. Thanks for liking the video. All right. My lovely, beautiful, wonderful Pisces. Next three months for Pisces. Thank you for liking the video. December 23. The Nine of Pentacles, beautiful, wonderful, intelligent. You are enjoying the fruits of your labors, Pisces. Your hard working has led you to a luxurious life. Y'all are buying things for yourselves. Um, happy and successful, self-employed, or enjoying your solitude. The Nine of Pentacles is the wonderful, beautiful singlehood card. So that's December 23. Let's do January 24. More money. Some of y'all are sharing your wealth, sharing your time with people with the Six of Pentacles. Um, <clears throat> really creating a social circle. Okay, the good you do comes back to you, Pisces. There's an unexpected inflow of abundance. You could be borrowing wisely or paying off debts. You're sharing your wealth with others less fortunate than you. February 24, the dreamer. This is you, Pisces. The full card. Y'all are going on a new start, a brand new beginning. So trust yourself. Go ahead and push your fears aside, Pisces, and take that leap of faith. We do have a new beginning, the Page of Wands, new insights, being optimistic, creative, 
there's news coming in. Do things that fill your passions and finish what you start, Pisces. You're going to really receive the fruits of your labor and your rewards. So I see fire, earth, um, Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries. So that was a beautiful message. Uh, beautiful message. Thank you all for liking the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know how this resonates and check back with me. These are three month predictions. Until I see y'all again, check out everything in the description box. Y'all can book personal readings with me, donate to the channel. Don't forget to like y'all. A really wonderful free way on how to support my channel, our channel, is to like the video and subscribe. Until I see y'all again, y'all be safe. Peace out.